enough announcements, now let us uh, do some meditation. So if you like to be sitting down as comfortable a position as you can possibly find. Excellent. Crikey, there's not that many chairs available. There's, I see a few chairs. And that chair over there is reserved for our ex-presidents, because Drew used to be a president before, so he gets the ex-presidents <laughs> chairs. <laughs> so anyway, let's do some meditation now. So if you'd like to just close your eyes. And when your eyes are closed, please bring up awareness of your body. Because I check, you know, I've been busy talking to people. Now is the opportunity to be able to just check my own body. Caring for it. This beautiful attitude of wishing my body comfort and well-being. I do this not to indulge my body. I do this in order to rest my body, to relax it. So when it's comfortable and relaxed, I can focus on my mind. And that's where the meditation really gets strong. But first of all, I check my legs, my feet, how are they? Now, a minute ago, I thought my legs were okay. But once I asked the question, I found my, my right foot is a bit squashed. So I'll just move it slightly. And that makes all the difference. Sometimes I think it's just like a human being, when you say hello to them, it's like you recognize them and they feel a little bit happy that they've been noticed. And my feet are like that. Sometimes I pay little attention to them. When I do pay attention to them, it's like they relax. They feel safe and cared for. And I go up to my ankles. I don't assume that they are comfortable. I check and one of the ways of doing that is just asking them. It's like a way of creating a mindful awareness of that part of my body. Just like sometimes I ask you, how are you feeling today? And I make sure you check on your experiences of comfort, physical and emotional well-being. If you don't ask, you don't know. It's a way of establishing some awareness there. And I go up my legs, the calves of my two legs. And as I go up and just check them, I have this, I've learned how to relax them. To relax them is like taking off pressure, releasing any tension. Like I use a simile of a guitar string. I used to play a guitar when I was very young, not well. But I know that when you release the tension of those strings, everything relaxes. And that's what I'm imagining I'm doing to the muscles in my legs. Relaxing everything, keeping nothing tense. And I go to my knees, making sure they're really relaxed. A lot of people have problems with their knees. I should have problems. I've fallen down cliffs, fallen off motorbikes. But my knees feel fine. I've fallen off ladders, even at Bodhinyana. But I know how to relax everything. Mindfulness gives you the opportunity for feedback. You learn how to relax things like your knees. And my knees are more relaxed than when I began. I can feel that. And then I go up from the knees up to the thighs. And just relaxing everything as I go along. It's a brilliant way to look after your own health. And then you go to your butt. The butt is important because you know, you're putting a lot of pressure of your whole body 
onto your onto the cushion and that interface your butt can feel a lot of pressure sometimes and as long as you, know, you do the best you can to even out that pressure as a monk with a robe I have to make sure that there's no folds of robe cutting into that flesh when my butt is comfortable I know that that feeling there won't change it will disappear and I go to my waist I do have my belt on a bit too tight so I'm going to loosen it and I don't notice these things when I'm talking to people but when I check on them before meditation I can make those final adjustments it's better And I usually like to um, stretch my back a little bit at the first part of the meditation to make my waist feel comfy. I prefer my back being straight. Just got used to it and it feels more comfortable in that area. And then I scan my attention up my body, starting from the bottom of the torso and just you know, inch by inch going upwards seeing that everything is well balanced, adjusted, free and if I feel any tightness or tension, ache or pain anywhere I pause and over the years as a monk I've learned how to relax anything any tightness, I'm not quite sure why or where I can release that tension relax everything and my mindfulness gives me the feedback and my body is really quite at ease it feels comfortable until I get up to my shoulders they always seem to be tight but then I know how to relax them I do imagine them like strings being stretched the muscles of the shoulders on either side is a bunch of strings and being stressed I imagine just releasing that tension they're not being pulled apart they let go, relax, I don't hold them in any specific position I let them decide how they are and I just noticed saying that, that the, the muscles just loosened they feel so much better now I'm not making this up this is, I'm describing how I'm doing things and I allow my attention to go down my arms there's hardly ever any problem there but I check anyway past the elbows down to the wrists and down to the hands and fingers and I always notice, if I don't ask the fingers stay in this position which is not that comfortable so now I ask and they do request to be adjusted my fingers are telling me this I'm so aware of the body I give them autonomy they decide how they're going to be positioned and I notice I put them in a classic meditation position the sort of you see in books just with the right hand over the left hand the thumb slightly touching it feels comfortable and I go back up to my shoulders to my neck and I know what governs, governs the comfort of my neck is the position of my head on top of it and so this time I always do a little exercise of pushing my head to the left, the right, in front and back to find the place which is the optimum position for my head on the neck
when I've found that balance, then I can leave my head alone and instead look at the muscles around my eyes, around my nose and my mouth, the muscles on the front of the face. Because sometimes they are contorted. They actually show your emotions, whether you're afraid, whether you're relaxed, whether you're angry, whether you're at peace. And I know those muscles, the muscles around my eyes. I know how to relax them so they feel loose. The eyes are still closed, but not shut down tight. They're just gently closed. And around my nose, and around my mouth. I can feel those muscles relaxing and within it any emotional tension in my mind which causes those muscles to tense up. By relaxing the facial muscles, I'm moving into the world of the mind. But before I go totally into the world of the mind, I just check the whole body now. I've relaxed it part by part. Now look at it as one unit just a body. And sometimes I should know better, I kind of stun myself. How relaxed does my body feel right now? It really is relaxed. And doing this over many years I noticed that when the body is that relaxed, there's a kind of pleasure a unique pleasure of a relaxed body. As soon as I notice that, some joy comes in my mind and the relaxation gets even deeper. I'm not trying to force my body into any position. It just loves being like this. That's why the relaxation's got no pressure on it at all and goes deeper. When you appreciate and have joy in this moment, that's where relaxation begins. And mindfulness gets strong. It's easy to be mindful of my body when I'm enjoying it. And it's still. But then I move into the world of the mind, first of all by asking a simple question, how peaceful am I right now? And if you've been following the instructions, you always find yourself you know, quite peaceful, more peaceful than usual. What does that peace feel like? It's like meeting a friend. If you haven't met that friend before, you have to get to know them. So get to know what peace feels like. Know peace so well, that you can also figure out what causes peace. What keeps it and makes the peace even more deep. And how enjoyable peace is. For many people it's weird at first. They haven't known peace very well at all. It's like a beautiful friend which is always there in the background. We just need to turn to it. It becomes one of our best friends. Just hanging out, chilling out with peace of mind. And as I do mention every time I teach, it's always peace of mind is in this present moment. It can't live anywhere else. You abandon peace when you start to think about the past. And you do learn much more from the present 
that you can ever learn from the past. And if you do have plans, all the plans, all your future is being made right now. Just being at peace and relax right now is the best you can possibly do for your future, no matter what your future is going to be. Make peace right now. And know how it feels. And hopefully you can recognize that peace is like a relaxation of the mind. Like relaxing the body creates a joyful, ease, comfortable body. Relaxation of the mind is even more delightful. Just being peaceful. Nowhere else to go, nothing to be. Just enjoying the peace right now. And to help maintain that peace, hopefully you'll find yourself becoming silent. No need to describe anything or take notes. Just let the moment be. I know that you've done breath meditation before. And I spent many years doing that. The breath comes up by itself. I never go looking for it. The mind becomes so peaceful. The breath is just there. You're noticing it. We make peace the main purpose. I will be quiet now. When I speak again, it'll be close to the end of the meditation.
So it's very close to the end of the meditation now. Don't open your eyes yet. Just notice how you feel. How peaceful you are. How relaxed is this body? I always found it important just to realize for myself what meditation does to me, even just a short one. It means I value it. it makes me feel so much better, at ease, relaxed, and bright, ready to give the talk. I'll now ring the gong three times. When the last ringing of the gong vanishes, then you may open your eyes to come out of meditation. Excellent. That was three.